Hi, welcome to another video in my series on mixed integration where I give you just examples to try. And in this particular one we've got the integral of x cos 7x with respect to x. So you might like to try this, come back in a few moments and uh, check out your solution with my one. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, to do something like this, what we've got is basically a product and they are different kinds of functions, different families of functions if you like. We've got a trig function here just being multiplied by x. Two different families then. And when you get something like this, it is integration by parts and you should be familiar with this if not you can check it out on my website just uh, look under integration by parts but essentially just as a reminder if you've got the integral of a product where one part is called u and the other part is dv dx and we've got to integrate this with respect to x you take one part and you multiply it by the integral of the other part and then minus the integral of the part you just integrated multiplied by the differential of the first part and then integrate that with respect to x. Okay so to do this what we do is we let this part here be u and this is the part which is dv by dx. So what do we get? Well it's the first part u times the integral of the other part. So it's going to be x multiplied by the integral of this part, the integral of cos 7x, which is going to be 1 7th sine of 7x. And we should put this in brackets. In fact, we should really put both parts in brackets at this stage. It's always a safe bet. And then we've got minus the integral of the part we just integrated and this was the part we just integrated this is our v now so we've got to just put that down as 1 7th sine 7x close the bracket and we multiply it by the differential of the first part here u differential of x is 1 and we've got to integrate that now with respect to x so next stage would be just to tidy this up. If we tidy up this first term we've got x times 1 7th which I'm going to write as x over 7 and then we've got sine 7x. And then I'm going to clean this term up. I can have 1 7th times 1 is 1 7th and I'm going to put that out the front of the integral because it's a constant. I always feel that's a good habit to get into and then we're just left with sine 7x to be integrated with respect to x. Now first term we just write down again x over 7 sine 7x and for this part we've got minus 1 7th multiplied by the integral of sine 7x and if you integrate sine 7x it's minus 1 7th cos of 7x and then we've got the constant of integration plus c. Just tidy this up now and we've got the first term x over 7 sine 7x and for this last term here we've got minus the 7th times minus the 7th which is going to be plus 1 over 49. 1 over 49 then multiplied by cos 7x plus c. And that's essentially it. However, you might want to simplify it further by, say, putting the 7 and 49 over one common denominator. The lowest common multiple of 7 and 49 is 49. So you could think of it as 1 49th then of, and then we've got 7x sine 7x. So when that's multiplied out, you're going to get this first term, 7 over 49 cancels to 1 7th. And then for this one, just plus cos 7x, and then plus the constant of integration plus c. 
Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then of how to do this one and there's more examples on my website in this series under mixed integration.